So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 7th Chrome extension development tutorial in which we're going to continue with our Twitter feed and uh, let's just create this. So right now you can see that we are just loading background.js out of nowhere so we can just include jQuery as well because it would help us in manipulating the DOM response we're going to get back the HTML response. So the idea would be essentially that we're going to hit twitter.com, we're going to hit a get request to this, get all the HTML back and right here you can see that inside HTML we do have this these tweet information so we can pretty much just read directly from the HTML instead of doing any sort of other API callbacks and parsing JSON objects and all that stuff. Plus, it gives us the benefit that the user need not to authenticate into your app. User just needs to be logged in inside Twitter only. So, okay. What the background.js would look like is that pretty much, first of all, we're going to get some data. And uh, we can do that by writing like get data. And again, I'm going to make use of promises in this extension so if you want to learn a bit about promises what they are then check out the link in the description i would place a link for the video which i did a week or two ago on promises and it should give you a start so again we have this get data so this would return a promise with all the information we need and uh, when this information is with us what i want to do is first of all check if notification is already shown to the user so we can just say check if exists and info and we're going to write the definition for this function as well which would again return us a promise then what i want to do is actually create create chrome extension chrome notification right and then again we would have this info we're going to say save the link so that we do not show the notification again right so we were we would choose some sort of unique identifier here so that we can identify the notification uniquely all right so now let's just implement these things so we're going to start off with function get data and what this would do is return us a new promise which would either resolve or reject and uh, we're going to hit a get request to Twitter. And once we have our data with us, first of all, I would just like to console log this data to see what this is. So if we reload this extension, go to background page, and we get some sort of problem here. Da da da. Some missing bracket somewhere. I'm not really sure where it showed that. Missing bracket after argument list. Where the heck? On line 11. Line 11. Oh, this is a fat arrow function, right? Reload background page. You can see that we get this error. XML HTTP request cannot load this. All right, this is perfectly fine and valid as well because obviously any JavaScript should not, any JavaScript on internet should not be able to access any Twitter account which is logged in or any sort of other account, right? So this is a sort of a protection mechanism provided by the browser and it is available in all the browsers. But with Chrome extensions, what you can do is you can request the permission to access Twitter on the behalf of user right and this would allow you to access and set ajax request to twitter so if we reload this now go to the background page wait a little we should see some sort of response from twitter now um, and uh, let's just try one more time might be some sort of internet connectivity and if I reload the location, go to networks, we do have this request pending and I'm not sure why my internet might not be working correctly. Right, we can just check. Yeah, looks like my internet is down right now. So, yeah. 
it's up i'm not sure let's just wait for it to get up again all right resetting the router always works fine so again let's just reload and hit the background page hit the console and uh, you can see that we got all this data chunk back and we want to process it with jquery now so we're going to extract some data from um, the all the html using jquery and we're going to show that as a notification to the user and yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial we're going to do that in the next one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and if you want to support content like this please check out the link the patreon link in the description that would really help so again yeah see you then in the next one